Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a light sensor in Android Studio using Kotlin. And as you can see right here, right now we have a sensor reading that says 4.0 because my room is very dark. But now as I put a light in front of my face cam, you'll see that the sensor will start to grow and you'll see the progress bar starts to grow as well. And the closer I put it to my phone, the more it will read how bright my lamp is. So let's get started immediately by first going to our Gradle scripts folder and clicking on build.gradle. But uh, I'm just going to go down to the dependency section and I'm going to insert this implementation for the circular progress bar. And again, you can find that in the description below. But after you put that, just go ahead and click on sync now. And in the meantime that syncs, I'm just gonna go real quickly to my res folder, open the values and go to colors and I'm gonna change the first three to blue because I like that a lot more than the default purple. Then we can close that and go to our layout folder where we have the activity underscore main XML. Click on that, click on split view. And again, I'm going to leave a link in the description below that goes to my GitHub repository and you can just go ahead and paste that in. So what you're gonna have is the circular progress bar with an ID of circular progress bar and you're gonna have a normal text view with the ID of TV underscore text. So essentially that's all you have to do in the XML file. And then after that, we can go straight to our main activity Kotlin file. And the first thing we have to do inside here is extend an interface, which is going to be the sensor event listener. And that's gonna give you an error that we have to implement a few members. So just go ahead and implement those two members. Then we have to create a few late in advance. And the first one we're gonna create is the sensor manager. So sensor manager, this one down here just like that. Then we're gonna create a private var for the brightness sensor. So we're just gonna call that brightness. And that's gonna be of type sensor, which is nullable. And of course, it's going to equal null initially. Then we have to refer to our IDs from the XML layout. So private late init var text is gonna be of type text view and private late init var progress bar is gonna be of type circular progress bar. Then as always, to make sure this app stays in light mode, we're gonna call compat delegates, and we want to set the default night mode to light mode pretty much by saying we do not want the night mode. Then we have to initialize our text with find view by ID, r.id tv underscore text. And the same thing for the progress bar. So pb is going to equal find view by ID, r.id circular progress bar. Now we're gonna create a method called set up sensor stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and create that immediately under. So private function set up sensor stuff, and the first thing we have to do inside here is get the sensor manager, and that's going to get the system service, which is a sensor service, and we're gonna cast that as a sensor manager. Then we need to initialize our brightness to equal a sensor manager, and it's gonna get the default sensor, and that's gonna be of sensor type light. Then we're gonna go to on accuracy changed. And just to get this out of the way, we're just gonna type in return because we're not gonna be using that. And right under that, we are going to override a few methods. The, one, the first one's gonna be called on resume. And every time the phone goes on resume, we want to call our sensor manager and register the listener, which is gonna take this as the context. The sensor is gonna be the brightness sensor. And we need to call the delay, which is gonna be the sensor manager dot sensor delay normal. So we will sample the light at a normal rate. And this is good for very slow situations that it's not important. But if you have a game, of course, go to fastest or pick the other option because you'll get a lot more samples a lot faster. Then we have to go and overwrite on pause. And right below that, we're going to call sensor manager again and we are going to unregister it. And this is just to avoid memory leaks because in my previous video, I went ahead and called this on destroy, but that's actually a useless place to call it since the app gets destroyed anyway. So it's very important that once the user leaves the screen, this listener disappears. So it doesn't run in the background for no reason. And right under setup sensor stuff, we're gonna create another function called brightness. And that's going to take the brightness level as a float because that's what we will be supplied by the sensor. And we want to return a string from this function. So the first thing we're gonna write in here is return when the brightness to int. So when the brightness to int is zero, we want to return pitch black because it's crazy dark. Then if it is in the range of one to 10, we are going to write dark. 
And I'm just going to copy and paste the rest because you can pull whatever you want here. This is what I experimented with and this is what I got. So between 11 and 50, I saw it to be gray. Between 51 and 5,000, it was more or less normal. And above that, it was like staring to the sun. And of course, don't forget to add an else block or the program will not be that happy. So else and this light will blind you. Then the final thing to do is to go to on sensor changed and inside here we are going to start with if the event which is nullable dot sensor which is nullable type is equal to sensor dot type light then we want to get the results and to do this we're just going to create a value of light and that's going to equal an event dot values at the index of zero. Then we want to set the text for our text view. So text dot text is going to equal sensor interpolate, pass in the light variable so we can get a number reading. Then we are going to create a new line inside this text. And we're going to interpolate again by adding the dollar sign and a pair of curly brackets because inside here we want to call our brightness method and insert the light. And for the progress bar, all we have to do is call pb.setProgress with animation and pass in the light value. So setting up the light sensor was simple as that. Now if we go and click on run, you should see that we'll have a sensor that will read the light levels. Perfect. So right now we are in the dark. Now if I turn on my lamp, you will see that as I put it closer to the phone, the levels go higher and higher. And I think depending on which light I use, it might change also the intensity. So I think this is a really cool project you can test on your phone because I had a lot of fun just walking around my house to see how bright certain areas were. And it's always fun to use sensors from the phone. But uh, yeah, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.